Okay, Hans here, Harbor Freight Mini Mill. I want to show you how I'm getting this uh, gusset set up to stiffen the column of the mill. And this is the most clear way to show you how non-rigid this thing is from the factory. So uh, just to exaggerate a little bit, these three socket head cap screws, I loosen them up. Um, but if you were to do that with the mill, um, and I'll put my hand on the back of this thing, if you can see it move, see that? I mean, this is a pivot point right here, and there's basically three screws, and they're almost completely in a line. Um, so it doesn't matter how much you have beefed up in the back and how much you've kept this thing from compressing um, the thin casting that it is. Um, all, all that load is going through these three points and they're basically in one line. It's just violating some um, basic engineering principles. So, so I have a inch thick base that uh, this is going to be secured to permanently. And then I have a, I have a C clamp here right now, um, a big one and uh, I have these gussets and I have this plate on the back. So you can see how loose this was, but if I tighten this, tighten this down, you can't see the end of it, but okay, this thing is locked in place. It will not move. Um, so this is surely overkill a bit, um, but I think it's gonna work nice. One of the things I didn't describe earlier is that this plate on the back, in addition to the large pin or screw down here, I came in here and I actually put a, a flat head screw um, through this way. And so I have this plate fastened to here up at the top. And then I also put a, a taper pin down at the bottom um, so that way if I do remove that nut to take this thing apart, I won't lose the position of this plate to here. This, this plate is totally parallel to these surfaces. And down here, this plate is exactly the same width as this one and with these heavy gussets. Um, I'm gonna drill holes and tap, and then all this will be secured. And I'll have some oversized holes here so that way I can get this thing set up perpendicular. I have a, a granite <clears throat> angle plate. I'll put this here and I'll run an indicator up and down um, and then I will set it where I want it and I know what it will be. Okay, so that's all for now. Thanks for listening.